Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am very well. And you? Very nice. Now enjoying the heat. Today is very hot here in Santana. Ah, okay. <laughs> good thing is that it's Tuesday already and uh, we are in the English class, of course, to practice. Hello, Marilyn. I, I am ready to. Very good. Yeah, let's let's practice our English class. Hello, Herod. How are you? Good night, Michelle. Good night. Thanks. Yes. Nice. I'm very well. Very, very good. Okay, we're going to wait just one more minute and then we're going to start. Okay, we're going to start. Um, we're going to start with uh, another topic. This is called a conjunctive adjective. But before that one, uh, the usual question is, how is everybody doing with the platform? Everybody's moving on, right? Everything is fine, right, with the platform. You are, I guess- in Today I finished. Four. Good, that is good. I finished the plat platform. And and final test. Good. It was very easy, right? Yes, yes. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> nice. So I hope everybody's at least in section number four so we can move on. And uh, well, the topic that we're going to start today is conjunctive adverbs. Uh, just remember that adverbs are like um, something that describe, describe verbs, right? other adjectives or other adverbs. So in these ones, we are going to have um, some words that we help, we use to connect, to connect like uh, sentences in paragraph. You know, it's very useful because sometimes we, um, we are writing paragraphs. We are writing like, um, do you know what is an essay? Saben que es un essay. No. No, no. Un ensayo. When you are in the advanced uh, level of English, you are going to be required to write essays and things like that. These words are very important for you when, whenever you are writing uh, that kind of paragraphs or situations, right? So we have different uh, adverbs that we are going to use depending on the situation. So for example, for cause or effect, we can use accordingly, okay? We can say, for example, um, English is very important in regular life. Accordingly to studies that we have seen, uh, everybody is learning English because you are going to have something like that. Another one is consequently. I guess that is, very clear what is in Spanish, right? Consequently. Hence, do you know what is hence? No. 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 Okay, uh, hence it might be something like por lo tanto. Okay, so that's why it's cause and effect, right? Therefore, do you know what is therefore? Okay, therefore is very similar to hence. So you can say hence or therefore. Okay. okay, then I guess that is very easy, right? Because you have something and then you say, then, and then this happens, right? Very good. The other one is for sequence. I guess also this is kind of easy when you're talking about procedures or steps. So you say first, next, then, things like that. 
Finally, that is like when you are finishing a sequence, right? Finally, you can do whatever, whatever. Furthermore, do you know what is furthermore? No. Furthermore is something like um, es más. Okay. Something like that. Furthermore, or whatever. In addition, I guess that is very clear. In addition, so you, you can add more things. Uh, moreover, moreover is very similar to furthermore. So you can interchange those. Furthermore, moreover, okay. The other one is going to be for time, okay? We can say before. Before it was easier to whatever, anything. Meanwhile, do you know what is meanwhile? Mientras tanto. Very good, mientras tanto, meanwhile. Since is one that we checked before, right? Since 1990, whatever. Now, that is also about time. Lately, okay? Lately, because of the pandemic, we can go to Paris, something like that. Contrast. Uh, contrast is when you have two different ideas, right? When you are going to put together ideas that are different, a lot different. So we have rather. Do you know what is rather? That is very common when you say rather, I rather, I rather be, for example, at the beach, right? So it's like preference, something like that. However, that is very similar to the last one, that is but, however, but instead of using but, you can use however. Instead, do you know what is instead? Okay, instead is, in lugar de, okay? okay? In spite of, do you know what is in spite of? No. A pesar, algo así. Very good. A pesar okay. de, very good. So that is for contrast. Do you have any question for the first part? No. No. Okay. So then um, we have other adverbs that we can use whenever we are writing uh, longer ideas. Emphasis, right? Indeed, do you know what is indeed? Innecessary. Sería algo así como en efecto. En efecto. Good night, hello, how are you? Okay. Uh, the other one is, of course, I, of course you know that one, right? That is very common. Certainly, um, that is very similar than in Spanish. Certainly, we are going to be able to pass the English class if we study, for example. Definitely, that is another word that we use um, when you want to emphasize something that might be happening. Undoubtedly, um, that is yes, when you are sure about something, right? So you emphasize that this is going to happen. Then we have other others that are for summarize. Okay, when you are finishing an idea, you can say, well, briefly remembering what we said before, briefly. Do you know what is briefly? I don't know. Brevemente. I don't know. Okay. Brevemente. Brevemente, very good. The other one is merely, that is like in Spanish, right? This is merely the essence of whatever you're talking about. Quickly, you can use that to summarize. Quickly, we can review what we have checked the other classes and things. In conclusion, that is one of the most common that we use. In conclusion, we can say that whatever, right? Or in summary, also is very common. In summary, we can say that any other thing. And then we have illustrate. To illustrate an idea, an example, something that we're talking about. So we can use actually, for example, for example, we can say that and whatever you want, right? For instance, that is very similar that, for example, namely is like when you want to name, when you want to say examples of something, right? Typically is like when you say, uh, mm -hmm. these are like the most common, right? The most common are these, typically in El Salvador, whatever. And representatively, that is going to be also very uh, very similar to typically representatively is going to be like 
these are the most common, right? And to compare this, you can use like or us. Do you remember that we were talking about us, right? Um, as many books as uh, the public library, for example, or like, like in all countries in Latin America or whatever. The other one is likewise. Do you know what is likewise? Igualmente. Igualmente. Very good. Mm -hmm. So likewise, you can say like comparing that are very similar. And actually the other one is similarly. Similarly, we can say that whatever. Okay. So uh, do you have any questions with the last part? No. no. So all these uh, adverbs, we use them to put together ideas. And most likely when we are writing large ideas, like um, paragraph, um, a homework that is, for example, a lot of words, um, things that express different ideas. So for example, in essays, we're going to have like a, a problem and then we're going to have like the development of the problem, the causes, effects and things like that, and then a possible solution. So for that kind of situation, we're going to use a lot this kind of uh, conjunctive adverbs. <clears throat> Perfect. So, do you have any question about this uh, vocabulary? Okay. If we don't have questions, we are going to we are going to practice definitely. Uh, let me yeah, check. I don't know the meaning. Hands. Hands. Okay, everybody, what is hands? Do you remember? I don't, I don't know, teacher. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Por eso, Good por evening. Eso. Por, eso. por lo tanto. Por lo tanto. Okay. Any other question? Furthermore. Furthermore. What well, was furthermore? Furthermore. Do you remember? What is, what is furthermore? Es okay. más. Es más. Es más. Es más. Es más. Se puede decir que that is furthermore. Okay. Any other question? Furthermore. Meanwhile. Meanwhile, what is meanwhile, people? Mientras tanto. Good. Mientras tanto. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Okay. Any other question? Um, yes. Uh huh. In spite, in spite of. Oh, okay. In spite of. Uh, what it was that? Do you remember? In in spite of it, a pesar de. A pesar de. In spite of. In spite of. Yeah. We write this rather. A rather. What is rather? What is rather? Yeah. Preferir. Preferir. Preferiblemente. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um. Of course, we are going to practice, right? Yes. So, I have a little exercise waiting for you. Okay, uh, here we're going to have other, other ones that probably we don't know, uh, but it's going to be kind of easy, I guess. <laughs> hey, the dog's barking in English. Okay, so the first one, it says, well, uh, here what we're going to do is we're going to complete with the correct conjunction. So the first one says vegetables are rich sources of vitamins and antioxidants. And well, maybe we have to remember what is source. Do you remember what is source? Mm, source. It's like minerals. 
fuente. Very good. Fuente. It's a source, for example, when we're talking about information, I can ask you, uh, what is the source of your information? So source is where it comes something okay. from. So in okay. this one, it says vegetables are rich sources of vitamins and antioxidants and um, seeds has or hands uh, hands and okay. hands. Everybody agrees. Hands. Yeah. Hands. Yes. Hands. Very good. Ya vamos a ver si verdad. Number two, it says the last bus has gone. And then we are going to have to walk. So the last bus has gone. Them. Then. And. Them. Everybody agrees that is them? Yes. I think it's therefore. Oh, therefore. Therefore. Uh, For me, it's therefore. Therefore. It's therefore. So we are like half and half. So what yes. do we do? Therefore or then? Therefore. 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 Okay, let's stay there for and see what happens. Therefore. Okay, actually the answers are here. Uh, that was not correct. Okay. okay. Actually, yes, what then. it was then. Okay. okay. The first one was hence. That was correct. So we are one in one. Let's see what happens. Number three, uh, it says, uh huh. Apart from, we haven't seen that one, but it's very easy. Apart from is like separate okay. from, right? Exactly. Apart from or besides, besides is also like a mm, pesar de or something besides. like that. Besides. 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 Okay, besides, everybody agrees? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, let's see. I was wrong. <laughs> it was no. apart from. This is interesting because it says, look what it says, the, the sentence. That is very important. So if we say, besides, it's going to be like, besides the starter, I thought the meal was nice. In this I case, uh -huh. but a part, a part is more logical because it says, uh, the meaning is that only the starter was not good, but the rest of the, the meal was nice, right? So it's going to be that one. Okay. Let's check number four. I bought that car. It looked good and, aha, we have besides and moreover, it was reasonably priced. Moreover. 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 Very good. Yeah, that was correct. But what is it? Here is it. <laughs> okay. Number five, studies seem to suggest that bright blue and bright yellow are the most visible and also the also the safest also. color for vehicles. In my, I didn't know that one. So <laughs> bright blue and bright yellow. Mm, that is a good tip. So you say also, right? Yes, also. Also. Let's see. That was wrong. That was therefore. Oh, therefore. <laughs> so studies seem to suggest that bright because also is in addition to, and therefore is like that's the reason why, right? Por lo tanto. Uh -huh. That is it. So it's because they are um, the most visible. So therefore, the safest color. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, number six, it says, you had better mend your ways, uh, hands or otherwise. Do you know what is to mend? To mend something? Mm -hmm. Mend? Hands. Mm -hmm. hands. Mend is to fix, mm -hmm. to correct mm -hmm. something. Fix, fix something. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. do you believe it's hands or otherwise? Mm -hmm. Otherwise. Otherwise. What do you say uh, hands mean? Sorry. What is hands? Do you remember? Otherwise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Por lo tanto. Por lo tanto. Mm -hmm. Hands is por lo tanto. Mm -hmm. 
Otherwise. Otherwise, right? Or hands? Uh, I hands. I sing hands. Otherwise. 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 Okay. Otherwise. That is correct. It was otherwise. Number seven. She didn't leave her husband. However, also despite the fact that he had cheated on her. Also, do you know that is also? However. That is something that we have checked in this class, but I believe that you know. What is also? Aunque. Aunque. Very good. Okay. So she didn't leave her husband. Despite. Despite. And the I rest? think and the, and the however. However. We have However. One. However. Three however, one despite. Yes. Or she did, didn't leave her husband. However, the fact that she did okay. on her. However. So everybody agrees that, or the majority agrees that is however. Yes. That is wrong. That was. Okay. Um, also. Uh, uh, Sky. Sky. Yeah, uh, because it's different. It's contrasting, right? Uh, <laughs> Okay, number eight. Uh -huh. It says each individual is unique in many ways. Members of the same species share many common characteristics. So it's going to be despite, also, however. Also. Also. Everybody agrees? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Also. also. And that is correct. Good. Nice. Number nine. They have recruited more people and as a result, as consequence, or consequently, the survey has improved. Yeah, right. As a result. 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 Everybody agrees on that? Yes. Okay. As a result, that is not correct. The good one was consequently. 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 Yeah, because it's a consequence of the other one. Uh, but it's better consequently because it's an adverb, right? Consequently. Consequently. Okay, number 10. I was not confident of winning. Do you know what is confident? So, so I decided. Como okay. so, confident. Confident is like when somebody. you really believe, right? Believe that you are right. Oh, I think so. So I was not confident winning. So, or nevertheless, do you know what is nevertheless? Nevertheless. Whoever. Como sea o de igual manera. So, nevertheless, or also, what is going to be? Nevertheless. 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 Everybody agrees? Yes. Yes. That is correct. Okay. Um, I don't know how many we have wrong or right. Maybe the most important part is to check what um, what we can do with these words. I mean, these words are for us to write more complex situations, right? So for example, if you are reading a book of science or whenever you are reading any kind of books, uh, you are going to find lots of words like this because it's for, uh, for us to put together ideas. So that is the main reason, the main purpose of this one is to put together ideas similar or uh, they, they are um, different or they are uh, in uh, steps one by one, things like that. Okay. Very good. So we're going to stop this one and then check.
Okay, today we have an interesting activity. I remember that I told you yesterday that we were going to do an activity that is kind of different, okay? So the first question is, do you have paper and pen or pencil? Yes. 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 Okay, so this is what we are going to do. So first of all, I'm going to teach you or tell you uh, some um, punctuation when you are writing. So everybody agrees on what we are going to do, okay? Uh, for example, you know what is punctuation, right? When you're talking about grammar? Yes. Very good. Question okay. mark. Okay, very good. So that is the first one actually, question mark. Okay, símbolo de pregunta. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is this. I'm going to dictate you something, a paragraph. And when we finish, I'm going to show you on the screen the paragraph and you are going to check uh, the mistakes that we have, okay? Okay. Also, the punctuation, I'm going to dictate the punctuation. So, for example, I'm going to say question mark. Of course, you are not going to write question mark. So, you are going to just draw the question mark, okay? What happens if I say comma? We, write, we draw a comma. That is it. You just put a comma. What happens if I say period? We just put a period. Period, right? Un punto. Uh, if I say quotation marks? Quotation, las comas. Las comillas, right? Que van arriba. Mm -hmm. If I say, uh, yes. if I say colon. Which um, one? Colon. Very good. Colon is dos puntos. And if I say semicolon? Punto y coma. Punto y coma. Punto y coma. Very good. I guess those are the most uh, important by now. Okay. The dictation is going to be like this. I'm going to go dictating first. I'm going to repeat the times that you want me to repeat. If you say repeat, I'm going to repeat until you have the word, okay? Then, when we finish all the dictation, I'm going to read the paragraph. Sometimes happens that you are not sure about one word, right? So, if I read all the paragraph, everything makes sense because everything is together. So, then you are going to decide, oh, is this word, it's not this other word, okay? And after that one, I'm going to show you on the screen the paragraph. And what we're going to do is we're going to underline or circle the ones that are, oh, that's a nice song. Okay, uh, we, um, we're going to circle the ones that are not correct. And we're going to correct them, okay? okay. Any question about the exercise? No, nothing, thank mm -hmm. you. No okay. question, but I have yeah. some internet trouble sometimes, so. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I'm going let's to see go. How this work. I'm going to yeah. Let's let's try, and I'm going to go slow. Um, if you tell me to repeat, I'm going to repeat. Okay. Mostly, I'm going to repeat three times, but if you need me to repeat more, of course, I can do that. Yes. My friends, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Good. Good. Um. The topic is Haunted House. That is the title, Haunted House. Haunted House. Okay, let's start the paragraph, okay? Have you seen my house? Question mark. Have, Have you, you seen, seen my house? Seen. Have you seen my house? Question mark. Yes, comma. Is that creepy one there? Is that? Is that 
creepy one there. Is that creepy one there? Period. You may be asking yourself. You may be asking yourself. You may be asking yourself. Quotation marks. How has he? How has he ended up? How has he ended up? Ended up? in that place in that place <clears throat> in that place question mark and please close the quotation marks okay sammy colon Well, comma, well, comma, the answer is quite simple. The answer is quite simple. The answer is quite simple. The answer is quite simple, period. My family, my family has owned, my family has owned has owned this house, this house since 1840. You can write that in numbers if you want. Since 1840. Since 1840. Period. As you can see, as you can see, comma, it is very old. It is very old. Comma. But my family, but my family has taken care, has taken care, has taken care of it. taking care of it during all this time, during all this time, during all this time for a very special reason, for a very special reason. For a very special reason, colon, ghosts, ghosts, 
ghosts. Period. My grandpa told me. Speaker, yes. excuse me. A special reason. Ah, a special the... reason and then yes. column. Column and then ghosts. Period. And then my grandpa told me. My grandpa told me that the house that the house was built the house was built on a native on a native dash do you know what is dash es no la hablamos dash es guion okay so it's going to be on a native dash american on a native dash american cemetery Cemetery, comma. So it has been. So it has been. So it has been cursed. Cursed. Cursed since then. Since, Cursed. yeah, cursed since then. Period. Many people. Many people have seen Many people have seen mysterious shadows mysterious shadows walking in the house Walking in the house. Walking in the house and things moving. And things moving. And things moving. Semicolon. They have also heard they have also heard they have also heard strange noises strange noises Coma. Like a little girl. Like a little girl. Like a little girl crying. Crying. Or an animal scratching. Or an animal scratching.
or an animal scratching. Period. I haven't seen any ghosts. I haven't seen any ghosts. I haven't seen any ghosts, comma. But I have felt them. But I have felt them. But I have felt them, comma. Repeat, please, teacher. Of course. But I have felt them. Coma. And I have also. And I have also. And I have also seen. seen what they can do, what they can do, what they can do, period. Let me explain myself. Let me explain myself period i went to the house i went to the house for my vacation i went to i went to the house for my vacation. For my vacation. And one night, and one night, And one night, I saw that the mirror, I saw that the mirror, I saw that the mirror of living room of living room was full of blood. Was full? Was full of blood. Was full of blood. Comma. But when I, but when I looked again, looked again, there was nothing. There was nothing. Period. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. 
I'm really scared of this place. Of this place. Comma. But now, but now, I have to leave. I have to leave. I have to leave here. Here. For a few years. For a few years. For a few years because I because I inherited. I'm going to spell this word. Se la voy a deletrar esta. Inherited. It's going to be I N H E R I T E D I inherited it from my grandfather. It from my grandfather. It from my grandfather. Period. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Can you repeat um, from for a few years? Okay. Here for a few years because I inherited it from my grandfather. Okay. Ready. Period. And we finish. So now I'm going to read all the paragraph and you just check, okay? Haunted okay. house. Have you seen my house? Yes. Is that creepy one there? You may be asking yourself, how has he ended up in that place? Well, the answer is quite simple. My family has owned this house since 1840. As you can see, it is very old, but my family has taken care of it during all this time for a very special reason, ghosts. My grandpa told me that the house was built on a Native American cemetery. So it has been cursed since then. Many people have seen mysterious shadows walking in the house and things moving. They have also heard strange noises, like a little girl crying or an animal scratching. I haven't seen any ghosts but I have felt them. And I have also seen what they can do. Let me explain myself. I went to the house for my vacation and one night I saw that the mirror of living room was full of blood. But when I looked again, there was nothing. I'm really scared of this place, but now I have to live here for a few years because I inherited it from my grandfather. Okay, my friends, are you ready to see the paragraph? Yes. Here yes. we go then, nice. Okay, this is it, okay. Uh, the title is this one. Haunted house. Okay, so what we're going to do is, if it's not correct, circle. Circle the ones that are not correct. Okay, haunted house. 
And then here is the paragraph. I will give you some minutes for you to check all of it.
Okay, have you finished already? Not yet. It's not here. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's wait for the one. Yes, he finished. <clears throat> okay, have you finished? Yes. Yes. Teacher. Very well. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, this is a very good exercise for us to check if we understand the words. It's difficult, I know. It's difficult because you listen to a word and sometimes you don't know what, what is that word. Or sometimes some words are similar. So is he saying this or is he saying any other like this? Um, but it's a good exercise that we can uh, do so we can identify the way that we listen to and we get ideas together. Um, my advice for you is to check the ones that you did wrong, the mistakes, check the writing, check the pronunciation, and check the meaning. What is the meaning of those words? If you get to know the word, the next time is going to be, uh, is going to be correct, okay? Very good. Okay. Um, do you have any question about this? Uh, any word, pronunciation word, or anything like that? Tomorrow I'm going to upload the picture no. so you can no have picture. this, of course. But uh, try to check that. Try to check the meaning, pronunciation, and the writing of every word that you did incorrect, OK? Yeah. OK. Very well, so my friends, uh, just remember to continue the platform because next week is the last week for this uh, module. And uh, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I see you tomorrow and have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.